Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can select any formula cell or any cell used by a formula cell and then trace arrows that point to either the precedent or dependent cells from the selected cell. When you do this, Excel draws blue arrows either from the selected cell to its dependent cells or from the precedent cells to the selected cell, depending on which button you choose from the buttons that are available in the Formula Auditing group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. If the precedent or dependent cells are in another worksheet, then a black arrow that points to a worksheet icon will be displayed versus displaying a blue arrow. You can double click on the black arrow to view the Go To dialog box, which should point to the worksheet reference. You can then click on the reference and click OK to jump to the selected cell in the other worksheet. Now to view the precedent cells from a selected formula cell, first select the formula cell. Next click the Trace Precedents button in the Formula Auditing group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. This will cause Excel to trace arrows back to the precedent cells that are referenced by the formula in the selected cell. In some cases, these cells themselves may also be formulas. In that case, you can continue to click the Trace Precedents button in order to view multiple levels of precedent cells. In this way, you can work backward to determine which cells are referenced by the formula in order to perform its calculations. This is handy for determining which cells may be causing errors or inaccuracies in your worksheet formula calculations. Tracing dependent cells is the same process in reverse. You simply click on a cell from which you want to trace the dependent cells and then click the Trace Dependents button in the Formula Auditing group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. Excel will draw arrows to any cells that need the value calculated by the selected cell in order to function. You can then click the Trace Dependents button as many times as needed in order to trace multiple levels of dependency from the selected cell if necessary. Now to remove all of the auditing arrows that Excel draws in a worksheet, first select the worksheet from which you want to remove the auditing arrows. Next click the Remove Arrows button in the Formula Auditing group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. This will remove all arrows from the selected worksheet. It is important to note that you must clear the traced arrows in each individual worksheet separately. Now if you only wish to remove the last level of precedent or dependent arrows that were drawn in a worksheet, you can click the drop down button to the right of the Remove Arrows button and then select either the Remove Precedent Arrows or Remove Dependent Arrows command from the button's drop down menu to remove only the last level of precedent or dependent arrows that were traced. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.